Bonjour gamers, we are back, COVID semi-free, <laughs> feels good to be back, and today I want to touch on how to set up your level 4 tripods correctly. But before we jump into it, if you guys enjoy the content here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. When my channel hits 15k subscribers, we're going to be doing a $100 Steam gift card giveaway on my stream. So be sure to click that sub button. If you like the video, make sure to like it, and if you guys enjoy my content and want to be notified whenever I post, hit that notification bell. Lastly, I stream Monday to Friday on Twitch at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so if you guys enjoy the content here, you will absolutely love it over there. If you are hearing my voice right now, I am already live on my Twitch channel, so be sure to click that link in the description box. Now, let's just jump into the video. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a bunch of level four tripods. Now, I touched on this in a in another video, which I'm going to leave linked in the description box down below. But I'm going to go over that video very, very quickly. Now, the idea here is to get your level four tripods from the auction house. The reason you do this is because even though you cannot put on uh, these broken pieces of armor, you are able to imprint their tripods at the, uh, the transfer skill uh, merchant. And so you're going to pick out your most important uh, tripods on all of your skills and then pick up, you know, a headpiece, a chest piece, legs, weapon, whatever, and you will get guaranteed level four tripods and they will be guaranteed of your best level four tripods that you can get. Now, when you buy this piece, be sure that it remains tradable once you buy it. The number you see here is how many times it'll be tradable after you've purchased it, if you decide to purchase it. If you get an untradable piece, you will be stuck with that piece forever you cannot get rid of it so be sure that you can sell it back because when doing this method you will be able to make back most of your money you will still lose money even if you sell it for the exact same amount because obviously there's a five percent tax on selling things and on top of that there is the fee on tax because this is a tradable gear and so you pay fions for purchasing it once you have your piece of gear you come to the uh, skill tree transfer npc and you will be able to transfer that skill and imprint it onto the NPC. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're, not, you're gonna to wanna to back up the gear that you're using. So let's say this is my equipped set. What I'm gonna to wanna to do here is make sure I save all the gear tripods that I have on it. The reason for this is because I'm gonna need this sheet in the future because you're not gonna be switching over immediately. The thing is when you switch over, you lose a ton of tripods. And so what you're going to be doing here is going to be building another sheet. Once you get your level four tripods, you're going to start imprinting them onto a separate sheet. So that way you can start building that one up and you could make the transition slowly instead of trying to do it all in one shot. And you lose out on a ton of your tripods. Once you've imprinted your relic piece to your new sheet, you can just put it back onto the auction house and sell it. Now, from this point forward, you're going to want to start saving your gear with your tripods on it. The reason for this is because you want to bulk up a bunch so you can start rolling it onto your new page with your level four tripods on it. And for example, let's say if you if you are newer to the game, if you aren't 1415, if you aren't 1445 yet, you can actually start saving this pretty early on. I'm even doing this on my alternate characters for when they hit 1415. Because realistically, once you have a base set of 18 tripods on your gear, you don't have to keep rolling it to go from level one to level two. You can just start saving a lot of it. And once you get to the point where you're rolling your level four tripods on that character, then you can start rolling all your tripods onto that sheet to make them super juicy. So once you've imprinted your level four tripods, you've saved up a bunch of tripods to roll onto your gear, and you've made sure to save uh, your tripod sheet on your sheet number one, then you can start building up your new page. So what you're gonna wanna do is imprint this sheet onto your armor, and then you will start rolling the tripod. So see here, let's say I have level three front of the station, but pretend this is level four. And then I could just take another tripod that I want and then roll it onto it. The way I would suggest doing this is focus on certain pieces at a time. Build up your head, build up your shoulders, build up your chest, and then you can slowly start putting pieces on that have those level four tripods. Now, obviously be aware that there is gonna be some rollover. Your helmet might have the same, you know, uh, secondary tripods as let's say your weapon or whatever. But as you get more and more pieces, that'll happen less and less. And until the pieces are wearable, you can then just, you know, roll your, uh, roll your tripods onto your gear. Whether it succeeds or not, you just then re-imprint it to that sheet, then go back to your original sheet and put on your original tripods. 
so that way you never lose power while you're trying to roll new tripods onto your gear. So the reason why I find it important to do it this way and why I find it a lot more efficient is because it guarantees your level four tripods and you get to choose the tripods that you get to actually start out your entire build, which means you're gonna be guaranteed your best tripods. On top of that, if you notice here, if you try to actually roll level four tripods onto your gear, it's a 5% success rate. This is pretty obvious. It's way easier to roll on level one, level two, or level three tripods onto the gear, opposed to trying to hit that 5% constantly. Now, the last thing to mention is the importance of powder of sages. These are very, very helpful because they help increase the probability that a tripod is gonna actually roll onto your gear a ton. Now, these are about 130 gold each. They're not too, too expensive, but when you're rolling a ton of tripods, this will build up very quickly. Something else that you should be doing at all times is make sure you are sending out your dispatches in your stronghold to be collecting adventure seals. Those are the, the green seals. The reason for this is because you are actually able to craft a powder of sages from these adventure seals. In your stronghold, this merchant right here, the special exchange merchant, will sell you items for each type of seal. For the adventurer seals, she sells you Stone of Sage, which is a crafting material to make Powder of Sages. It costs 810 adventurer seals, and she has a daily limit of 10. Realistically, I've never been able to reach this daily limit, but you can then buy those Stones of Sages, and then in your stronghold, you're able to craft the Powder of Sages. Now, something I want to mention to make newer players aware of is that adventure seals also unlock a ton of runes for your account. Things like Legendary Conviction, Legendary Judgment, uh, you know, you could get blue and green wealth runes, you can get blue and green focus runes. These are very, very, very important for your classes. These are very important for your account. And so if you need these, it is, I personally would say it is more important to save your adventure seals for those runes and then only start doing this afterwards. I only want to mention this because if sometimes people tend to buy things early on and then later on they'll realize that they kind of need things. I did the same mistake. I would buy like card packs and stuff from uh, the vendor without realizing that eventually I was going to need my Legendary Conviction and Legendary Judgment runes. And so be sure that you are still collecting them because no matter what, sending out your dispatches all the time is something you should be doing regardless. And focusing on the green runes is important because they give a lot of account-wide rewards. But don't start pre-buying your Powder of Sages until you are actively using them and you know you need them. One last thing I need to mention on this is you will have some days where you do not have either a lot of options for Adventure Seal Dispatches or uh, you will have pretty much no options for Adventure Seal Dispatches. What I like to do is I still send out my sailors uh, to get the other seals. I pretty much just go for whichever one has the highest reward. And then I go to the vendor that I had just mentioned that sells Stones of Sages because she gives you the ability to convert your seals. She can turn uh, the yellow seals into the red or green ones. She can turn the red ones into yellow or green and then the green into yellow or red. So you are always able to convert them back and forth. However, obviously there is a cost to this. You only get 65 per 100 that you transfer. But if you're on a day where you don't have any green or adventure seal dispatches, then just get the other ones and then convert them. Thank you all for watching today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. As always, if you guys enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel. It supports me a ton. Like the video if you like it and leave me a comment down below letting me know how was your experience rolling your gear tripods. I feel like the system can sometimes be a little painful, <laughs> so I'd love to hear from you guys on how rolling a gear tripod goes. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch. If you're hearing this right now, I am already live, so click that link. And lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of amazing people. If you're looking for people to hang out with, chat with, play some Lost Ark with, that is definitely the place you want to be. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!